Good morning, boys and girls. I think I may see a way out of this mess. So today I'm going to try something a little different. Today, I want to speak to a specific individual. And if you can do anything to help me get this message to that individual, it would be greatly appreciated. Today, I would like to speak with Dr. Jordan Peterson. Jordan, I feel like I know you, so I'll call you Jordan. Not only are we both small-town Alberta boys, which, by the way, I'm quite sure growing up in Hinton, Alberta, I went to Fairview to play hockey. And if I did, well, then I probably went to a party after the game. And, well, you can see where this is leading. But that's not why I feel like I know you. I feel like I know you because you have traveled hundreds of thousands of kilometers with me here in my truck. I've listened to virtually every word you've spoken online. Uh, maps of meaning. Uh, even before this Bill C-16 issue, I have, uh, due to my fascination with the topic of psychology, I'd watched a couple of your classes online. And then once the B the Bill C-16 thing took off, I watched with fascination as uh, you were completely battered by the media and seem to walk away unscathed pretty much every time. I've never seen anything like it before. I've never seen anyone who was able to survive the attack of the media the way you have. Uh, and, so oh, wow, I find you rather impressive. And I said in videos in the past that uh, you, Dr. Jordan Peterson, might be the only person I can think of that I would support as a candidate for Prime Minister of Canada. I also said that I could only offer my full support if you were leading a brand new party. And I have to admit that when I first started saying that, it seemed kind of pointless to me. It didn't seem very realistic. But uh, as I said, I've heard pretty much everything you've had to say online. Last night I was listening with uh, listening to your conversation with uh, Preston Manning and uh, the idea sort of coalesced that perhaps this idea of a new political party in Canada isn't so far-fetched after all. I got to thinking well what would it take for a brand new political party to have success in this country and uh, I made a list made a list of stuff that I think is necessary if a brand new political party were to succeed in the country. That uh, party would need a, a charismatic leader. That'd be you. Uh, a single unifying message, a slogan, a symbol, something simple and unifying, something like the idea of freedom and individuality. It would need a simple and reasoned platform, consistent messaging. Due to the current state of the traditional media, it would also require a complete and full understanding of things like social media. And it would also need a list of prominent candidates. And it occurred to me, Jordan, that you have all of these things already. I can't think of anyone better equipped to set up a brand new political party in Canada and lead it to victory. I just can't think of anyone else. Not only are you capable personally of doing this, and not only do you have within your current network all of the people needed to to make this happen, you could put together an advisory council of the greatest thinkers this country has ever known. Rex Murphy, Brian Peckford, Preston Manning, all of these people I'm sure would advise you in this process. So, Dr. Jordan Peterson, I beg you, I'm pleading with you, 
take what you have and put together a new political party and lead it to victory. Jordan, Canada is your room and it needs a good cleaning.